Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins! Well, a little bit of a surprise I might think for some of you guys. I only plan to do three LPs all the way through till uh, October uh, as per my last update video, but uh, I've been sat here for the past sort of two or three days and I've been a little bit, I walked, I've been a bit bored really. I've, I've been playing my LPs of Medieval 2 and Sims and they've been going fine and you know, but uh, a couple of times after I've finished the updates for the Sims or the Fallout and you know I've got another five hours to kill, nothing to do and I don't fancy carrying on with more videos of those, um, I found myself at a loss of what to do. So I decided, hell, I'm going to play a game that I really, really, really enjoyed playing the first time through. And Dragon Age Origins was that game. One of my favourite games of all time, along with Fallout 3 and Mass Effect, and Mass Effect 2. So all those sort of those four games of are the four ultimate games for me on the Xbox 360. And I decided to play Dragon Age again. Dragon Age Origins. Create a new character, but just play this out at my own pace. I'm not going to update this as part of a regular update. You know, every two, every three or four days, the update of Sims 3. I update a um, Fallout 3. I update a, um, a Medieval uh, 2 update pretty much all the time. Whereas this will be only updated when I have got a spare moment or two. So it's just going to be sort of an ad hoc LP where there's no pressure on me to update it regularly because I'm just doing it really to release a bit of stress at the moment. I'm not in the best of moods uh, of the past sort of uh, month or so for obvious reasons um, if you've been following for the past sort of uh, three or four months but uh, yeah I just want something to release a bit of stress and just to enjoy doing something again uh, and this is my way of doing it. So sit back and uh, enjoy what I think is one of the best games on the Xbox. Dragon Age Origins. I love the music of this game as well. I love the music, the atmosphere, I love the, the way the characters sort of uh, interact with each other as you're playing the game and you get a real sense of uh, feeling part of a team. So anyway, enough of my ramblings. <laughs> Let's just crack on with it. New game! Dragon Age Origins. Here we go. So for this let's play, I'll give you a quick brief rundown. It's going to be a uh, me playing the game <laughs> naturally. Uh, I'm going to pick a, a dwarf character, dwarf commoner. I'm going to be a warrior, <clears throat> something a little bit different for myself because I always, always in any game I play like this, whether it be Oblivion, whether it be Warcraft, I'm always a mage. <laughs> That's what I was in the first playthrough of this. But I'm going to be a warrior this time. But more on that after this opening cutscene. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, 
The Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Okay. Maker, help us all indeed. There we go, a little bit of a brief introduction to the old Originos. Oh, I love this music. I don't know what it's about it, but I really do I love this music. Bear with me, please. I have uh, something there. There we go. There we go. Right. <laughs> hey, let's create a character. Normally I would pause it and say, voila, here he is. But no, I'm going to actually go through it this time. We're gonna have a male, we're gonna have a dwarf, and we're gonna go for warrior. And we're gonna go for dwarf commoner. Born castless in a land where rank is everything, bound as the lackey and thug of a local crime lord, you have spent your life invisible until chance thrusts you into the spotlight, where you can finally prove whether you will be defined by your actions or your birth. And like Fallout 3, I'm going to be playing not totally an evil character. Um, I think it will slightly go against the grain of the game if I am flat out evil. Um, trying to save the world and all. But I'm going to be a little bit ruthless, shall we say. Not goody two shoes like I always am when I first play a game. I'm going to be a little bit ruthless. So I'm a dwarf commoner. I have contempt for everybody. Unless you become my friend some way or another. So yes, that's going to be the general premise. Here we go. Oops, a daisy. I'm going to have to give him a name, and they've created a name of Farron. No, this is a part where I would normally pause it, because I hate giving people names. I, Hence, in Fallout, I call my guy Bob, because it's a simple name, and Evan. It's quite, quite easy. Uh, dwarven names? I don't know. They have kind of... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Da, 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 da. I might just have to temporarily pause until I think of a name. Temporarily pausing in a second. It's not really a dwarven name, is it? Okay. Yeah, I'm temporarily pausing. So, uh, stand by. Okay, folks, I'm back. And in an ode to one of my generals in Medieval 2, uh, a great general, of course. Uh, Nicholas Horston. I'm going to call my dwarf Horston! There's not really a dwarfy name, but oh well. He can be a bit different. He's called Horston. Horston Brosker. He's got a slide ring to it. <laughs> okay, there's his preset face. I'm not going to be, again, doing too much... Um, ...to do it differently, but... Oh god, no. Oh, I like that look. Maybe if we just tweak that a little bit. Yeah, I like that. How do we get out of here? Can we do the skin? Yes, yeah, try a bit of complexion. Ooh, a bit wizened. Yes, wizened. So let's go, that's it, yeah. We want really wizened. Maybe a little touch lighter. I don't want any tattoos, though. No. And that's fine. 
I like that hair. I don't like the hair though. Oh, what's this? Ponytail. Little bow thingy, majiggy. Long hair. Straggly hair. So in fact, if I do the beard first, the beard is putting me off. <laughs> Beardless? Hmm. Looks kind of ugly without a beard. Look at that one. That looks a bit better. Uh, that one, that's too much. Looks like some of the musketeers, doesn't he? I, I reckon something. Uh, not that one. Where's that one? Not that one. Not that one. I like. I don't mind that one. I'll stick with that one. A white-haired one. Maybe he's like an old veteran. Okay, we'll go for that brown. Let's have a look now. What goes with that beard? Ah, that's not too bad. Oh, I like that one. I do like that one, actually. No. No. Hell no. Yes. I don't mind that. A little bit... That's a little, a little bit style, doesn't it? I don't know. Does it go with that beard? Okay, we'll go with that one. Eyebrows. Now we're just going. Now we're just getting too intricate. I think the eyebrows are fine. <laughs> Stubble. We got a full beard. Doesn't really matter. That's fine. Eyes can stay. Okay. Eye shape. Because we can like we can get really higgledy piggledy in. But that's just too much. Nose. No. We have a big, big, thick nose. That's fine. Is fine. Portrait. Oh, if we really must tilt it a little bit there. Turn it round. To face. A little bit like that. No, no, let's put him a bit further away. Move him a bit more centre. I like that. All right, we'll go for a earthy kind of background. That'll do. Voice wise. No, it is gone. No. How about violent? Greetings. Oh, my smell. This isn't working. Need something else. John, I'm sure. I cannot cast it. No, I think violent. Greetings. Oh, I smell. Ha, I smell. Indeed you do. That's fine. Right, so there he is. Horston Brosker, common a dwarf. There we go. I like it. Although few would call the castless dwarves of Dust Town famous, they are well known for a few common traits. Lawlessness poverty and the brands on their faces. For the full experience of playing a dwarf commander we recommend you select a facial tattoo. Reading. Okay. Flaming hell fire man. Give me a tattoo then if it's gonna bloody stop you from insulting me. Ah, That's a bit much isn't it really? Okay I think we'll just have a single tattoo there. Hello, do. That's the one you've given me. Where's that sort of semi? There. Sort of palish. Right, now can we go? Ah, oh, excellente. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to pile all our attributes into strength. Uh, until we get to level 6, I think, is the way we're doing this. I think so. I think so. Da, 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 da. Yeah, fine. Let's do that then. Right, so, all into strength. And then we're going to do this in the start of the next part. So join me then when we shall finally create our character and crack on with life as a dwarf commoner. I'll see you shortly.